Alright, how's it going? Welcome back to more Tears of the Kingdom, which, uh, oh, outside the fountain, because it's probably going to be one of the last fountain visits, just ever. Uh, we just have to get a few more armor pieces to upgrade it, and then we're good, basically. For the 100%, it's just that and Koroks now, so we've made it very far, and, uh, it feels awesome being almost done, but I guess just, uh, run through the last few things, because they're kind of, uh, out of place things. There were reasons why they're last. Uh, some Vulfin Trout, which we now know some places to check that are a bit more unique. Um, I have to get a few more Swift Violets, which many different places. Um, a couple more of the Captain Porns, uh, specifically the two. And just a couple loose things all around. I'm trying to look for the one. I think I just passed it. Yeah, I got a few more Star Fragments, but I uh, also need some Shock Lizzle parts. Where, where was that? It's literally the... Wait. <laughs> I passed it like four separate times. There we go. It was that. So four more Lizzle Tails. Uh, we could really do all that. But first, let's just put a couple into these. Uh, I think we can actually max out one of the... Or actually, yeah, we can max out uh, the Wild Set finally. Mm. So I might as well do that. Mm. So yeah, welcome everyone. Hopefully you're having a great Wednesday. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll try to get this maxed out today. And... Uh, well, that means we're extremely close. But last few streams, 100% will be mainly exploration for like Koroks and just kind of, you know, taking down whatever enemies just for the fun of it too. Because it's the last we get to really play around with the save on stream. And uh, yeah, a lot of fun stuff to just mess around with. Max this out. Um, but it's been fun because uh, I think like after we like do everything reach 100% uh we made a little thing last stream where uh we're just gonna try to figure out our character's like net worth basically just sell everything in our inventory uh just see how many rupees it comes to so that'll be like a little fun end cap thing but <laughs> you'll do the armors and everything too just see like what is our monetary value in rupees because yeah it seems kind of fun okay um well i'm just gonna mm. yep mm. Let's we'll just give one to each. Just completely drain what we can right now, then we know what to get into. Um, and I'm seeing the Shock Lizzle Tails and Swift Violets, which can both be found in the desert. I want to fully max that out. Uh, very luminous, but... Well, just about almost enough. Yeah. Just do that all. Yeah, I think Desert will be a first good stop for us. Oh. <laughs> I think that's pretty simple. I think I still need a Gliak Gut, too. I didn't scroll over it, but we do need one more Gliak Gut for this. 20. <laughs> hmm. Well. First couple of objectives. Uh, the swords are materials that I need, basically. Um... So most of these are going to be Shock Whistle Tails, because it's about a 1 in 4 chance. I mean, on average we'll have to kill about 16 more to get what we need, but it could just be as little as 4. Depends on our luck. Um, let's go to the tower, because the Swift Files kind of spawn around here. So we can get the Violets, the Lizzles. Shabang. <laughs> okay. I was rocking the 8-bit Paraglider, so... That one's just silly. But uh, it's it's crazy doing all this. Like, uh, Lizzles were a big part for the 100% and getting all the armor pieces. But um, really, just the culmination of everything. Like, it probably takes twice as long to 100% this game compared to Breath of the Wild. Um, <laughs> yeah, well over 300 hours. It's very nice. Very wild. <laughs> So you only have 800 rupees, you have 160,000. Well, we might have that count if we never upgrade the armors, honestly. It is the armor upgrades are so expensive in this game. So that tends to do it. But, uh, it'd be like that. So, you know, are we gonna... Nope, it's all very weak. See, it's good-looking food on the eyes, but not on the full body, for a fact. Okay. Operation Bail out of here. 
It'll be uncold in a couple seconds. This one just looks cool for surfing. I go for the looks. Hmm. The giant swirly pet. <laughs> just the rapid flapping of the wings. Maybe you should have a glider. Doritos basically invented it. We're putting it in a ten times the amount of work to do the same thing. Tulin's trying. Oh yeah, this is the uh, the hidden stash. It was really awesome in the last game, but first we can just pull all out at once, I guess. Or in. Yeah. But now it's heavily reduced. Just a bow and shield, but I guess I could use the bow. It's a good shield. No more edge of duality or the huge selection. I'd say it's really a relic of the past. Bye-bye. Oh. Actually, I need your stuff. I need water, too. <laughs> this is a Zoro weapon. Oh! Or you know what? He's just gonna die regardless, so... Oh, wait! That was too close! <gasps> no! Demon King Bow! That's a good one! Wait. I believe in this. I'm losing belief. I lost belief. Imagine if it's actually down here, though. Or does it just despawn? I don't know. I'm kind of not comfortable with that, you see. Back here. Well, I guess we'll be more careful next time. Yeah, I, I couldn't even loot the guy. Well, you know, yeah, maybe we set the odds. Maybe just gonna, you know, give us the tail guaranteed. <laughs> Painful. It is satisfying when you get up to like the last hair tick of when you can recall something so far away, but uh, the range can go crazy for that. That's what you hope for. Okay. Round two. You think about getting fancy with like a rocket? Like, it's like the same thing. Two inches is so speedy. Could be more speedy. I love the landscapes, so it's okay. Stuff despawns if it goes through a loading zone and you're not close enough. Doesn't make sense, because I know like uh the Zonai builds when you go through like the gloom pets, those instantly break, but I guess in this case it's just gonna be a despawn zone in general. So much better round two. Faster. Cleaner. Damage my shield for no reason. Awesome. All for pizzazz. Then we know it's there, so we're gonna go splashy. I typically like doing the choo-choo jellies because they cover you more. Because the duration of that is dependent on how splashed you get, I guess. Oh, well, that was totally cool. Yep. Awful. It's gotta be one. It's not. <laughs> we can leave him alone. I'm only gonna loosely look out for the violets. Remember, it's like slightly down further. They're in areas that they typically want you to climb. Because they're like little things to pick up along the way. Yep, I see one. I see two. Okay. Imagine using this armor for its intended use. I just do it because Zone look looks cool. 
I think that's a valid reason enough. Oh, wait, I haven't discovered this cat. Oh, you're right! I, ha I have not discovered the chasm. <laughs> wait, that's a very good point. We need that for 100%. <laughs> I wasn't even at that point in the game yet where I'm, like, looking for those. Because, yeah, I assume there's just a couple, like, like groves left in the depths. Because those are map things, and sometimes, sometimes bridges, too. Because that's all for 100%. Uh. But yeah, a chasm pits would caught under that. And I guess in this save, I didn't go down there. Nice. Mm. I'm gonna get that guy first, it just makes more sense, you know? I'm trying to think of a quick way to get the pets, but I don't think there is a quick way. You might have to take the plunge. No, oh, just a double. Wait, but if we went up, likely this will work. Give me the beam. Oh, they they planned that trickily. We have this. Zoro climbing gear. We can do a little joint splash. Oh yeah, just instantly conducts because he's shock. And I lost it. Oh, we made him wet. Well, we we have phenomenal planning here. That is good. Okay, second one. No, it's a one in four chance. We need four tails total. So on average, we'll probably need about sixteen kills. So. That's just the uh, assumption. Let's go down that chasm pit. I guess the 800 percent stuff. But yeah, I hope everyone's doing well today. Uh, um, I guess just this week, uh, this stream's on the schedule, and then this Friday we'll be doing more Minish Cap. Um, but no stream next week because I'm going to be very busy. But I will be getting up a video instead, so it'll probably be around the same time as the stream usually is. So I wonder if I can... <laughs> That's such like a low uh, gloom line, I guess. Because usually the pits are always filled with gloom, but this one... Just decides. I'm frozen now. Oh! Wh there's the gloom! Okay, that makes sense. <gasps> okay! So that's why I thought elsewise. <laughs> Can you make that though? I guess literally anything can help us. Ooh. We're fine. We're fine. Totally. Totally fine. Just keep doing this. If I let go, we're gonna slip. Come on. Just doing one food. I don't wanna pull a second one just for that. Oh, you're ab <laughs> absolutely awful. Wait, but were you Jen Dolivers? Was it a full restore? How'd we get like all of our stamina from that? Wait, that was strange. What happened? Sorry, I. Cause I like to see how that happened. It was rest. Okay, so it was restoring a lot. Okay, so you can't use that stuff, but it resto restores it. So if you eat a little bit, then you get that much back. Huh, so if you eat something in the restoring phase, which is just really fast, you know, if you can't use that stamina. Just eat a little something that gives stamina and you get all that. So, that makes sense. In case that's ever helpful. Maybe. Might be. Okay, well we got the chasm pit. We got two of those guys. We got mushrooms, because they're tasty. Oh, rock octo! It's like the only one outside the mountain, actually. I totally forgot I was here. Um, flame sword or healer? I'm, I'm gonna go flame sword. <laughs> Handy. I think this one's here because it was just. It was here from Breath of the Wild, I'm pretty sure. So, they just kept it. Hmm. 
Now we scour these cliffs, because fun to hit what we need. I learned how to look up so much. See, gamers don't look up. Myself included. And, okay. Yeah, I just remember this area having a lot of violets. Uh, the path up to, like, Zoro's Domain does. It's usually just areas further away from the start of the world, honestly. But in terms of, like, specifics, I just... I guess these ones have stuck better with me. You need a lot for quite a couple different sets, maybe. Oh, well. We're on the right track. We can get these two. There's a rushy tower. The one Breath of the Wild quest, we ready to get like 50 of these. 55, I think. For no reason. Just to be a pain. What if we go with some jewelry? Yeah, that's cool. I don't know, I just have been really digging like the climbing stuff. Especially died this way. The headband was nice, but this is good for effect. You need 90 swift files in total, that's... Definitely not excessive. I think we did most of it. We're going with the plunging splash. It's still gonna, yep. Just parry cancel for the damage, or damage reduction, I guess. Such a good weapon. Okay. Three. Whatever. It should be about 16 that we kill. If it's any less, we get lucky. Any more, unlucky. It's nice that we can still like dual wield objectives. So violets and tails. Usually everything's still spread out at this stage at just one per area. Oh yeah, shock them. <laughs> that was totally intentional. <laughs> These Gliak weapons and their never ending charge. Go. Tulin? That would have been such a great opportunity. Get bedazzled. Get him, Tulin. Oh, he's gonna throw. Oh, nice. He was about to chuck that boomerang. Felt it. Okay. Four kills, no tail. Luck hates us. Take. Hey. We can still hit naturally generating ones of the lizzles. Also, will there ever be a full edited playthrough of this game? Um, not for this, no. I, uh... Well, that would just take a lot of time. Like, challenge ones already take me a lot, and I would rather just devote that energy to that, honestly. Um, there's just so much to it. Like, I feel like these are just, you know, fun because they're in the moment, and, uh... No, like, genuinely, that'll take a lot. So, yeah. I like doing challenge ones, and, uh... This is meant to be the thing I just, you know... Just gonna do every week. Um... But if I just always put thought into like editing it every single day, it's gonna be a lot. I could maybe start sharing clips. I I I do clip some stuff, so maybe I never really got into that. So nice to share them on my Twitter, but uh maybe more in the future. Yell. <laughs> always wait for the yell. This guy, oh, this guy, eating the meat, <laughs> get him, perfect, you know, I could just use Sidon, couldn't I? Spawn right by him, nope, you're gonna get, I guess not, nah, bolted, oh, boy, <laughs> through like the little curve, I guess? You have a shield. You're lost. Who's death? Screaming while frozen. How do I learn that talent? 
Also, we killed six of them in no tail. Um, very nice. And watch, next two we kill are just gonna be tail ones. I'm just gonna use my Zonite. If I remember where the hovercraft there it is. Near the top for this one. Oh well. Green. And you know because the cannon's good. <laughs> See, they all have their own uses. Just even if you disable them all, you're just gonna naturally wanna be like, oh, well this ability will be helpful. Oh this one. So typically it's these three. And then these two are on the right because they barely have use. More so if you just want to specifically use them. They're fun. I know a lot of people like Riju though. There are just so many other error fusions, so that's why I don't bother. Oof. Almost not perfect, but... Oh, well. No? He's done with life. Oh! Missed his home hill. None. Okay. So I'll seven. Thank you. We're just gonna meet back up with it. <laughs> Ban caught us. Oh, I guess we have to re-equip. Right. How cool. Okay, one, two, three, four. That should take us to 11 kills once that's done. But this one, confident. <laughs> I wonder if I eyeballed for the extra damage. Mm. It's gotta be the elemental one, so it does that little explosion with it. Has to be a headshot though. I don't think it's getting headshots. Oh, he's about to throw it. I saw that. It'd be crafty. Nope, eight kills, no tail. Theoretically, we should have gotten two already. And yeah, I'm gonna count because I'm just doing out of spite. That was an easy one. Okay, two hits. Like one's a direct hit, so it doesn't work. Or it bounces back faster. Three, come on, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes! That was awesome! <gasps> okay. That's not awesome getting none, but. <laughs> Wait, that really happens that I can aim it like that. Well, good stuff. Now, where's my thing? <laughs> the adrenaline has worn off as the failure sets in. Okay. Well, you know what? We don't need that. Do we? Right on. Oh, that I definitely made it easier on myself. <laughs> awesome. Now you do everything, guys. You know, Bo. Oh, he's gonna throw it. He's gonna throw it. He didn't. <laughs> Ten? It knows that these are the last ones we need. So it's gonna be extra, extra. Same back. Got it. <laughs> He's gonna do a bigger one. Where do you know the inevitable? Are you trying to delay it? 
What? Oh my god, no, get in! Come on. A full charge can even do it. Okay. 11th, none. This has been crazy unlucky, but I guess we're still getting parts in general. We're increasing our net worth. Gotta get that speech earlier. This is how we justify it. It's literally 11... 11 electrical Zalfos, no tail. Crazy bad. You can have the box. What did I do that? Hmm. I'm taking those anyways. Hmm. You need 54 electrical Zalfos tails to upgrade everything? It feels like more. Because just for the final tier of this, it's 24. But... I don't know. Maybe just the fact that 54 tails means over 200 kills. On, on average, you know? But, yeah, it's that and then the Yiga set, too. Both require the tails, and you can only really find them in select areas, so... It was just thought of so perfectly, you know? In the last stream, we were having problems. Oh, the randomly spawning ones are good. You know, we're gonna go with the punishment bow. This is more of a punishment bow. <laughs> punishment bow. <laughs> to myself, too. <laughs> to him? He kind of wanted to run away, I guess. That conducted the electricity. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> What? Bye bye. Okay, number 12 has to drop one. I said we're gonna do this in 16. So, in order to, for that to live up, I have to get one per kill now. This is absolutely crazy bad. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go build our own stuff. One, two, three. Spotlight? Just because it had it, so no zonite. Just take that around. I don't want to get too fancy this time. Yeah. Emphasis on the word chance. Honestly. It's uh. <laughs> Also, 39 tails for just the rubber armor and the rest for that Yiga. Okay. Still crazy. I'm sure most people don't kill 200 of these guys naturally. That's assuming you don't use any for fusing or fun stuff, you know? Which they are very fun for, so. A little too high. Maybe I can get the head of this guy, though. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Bring out the sweeping angle. Charge! We gotta go side by side. We gotta wait for him. Trajectory. Reloading. That was gonna be awful. That's gonna be perfect. Oh, he spawned by another friend. Oh, not good. Number 13. Okay, number 14 now. This one I'm gonna use eyeballs on because it'll connect the way I want it to. Yes! Okay, that's one. We still need three more. Okay. Um, let's kill these two. If we're lucky, we'll get one per kill still. So 14 kills, one tail out of the four we need. Oh, actually cool. See, it's like satisfying. I don't, I don't mind using this. Anything with like the noble cart stuff. Uh, I really love that. The mine cart stuff and the, well, that region. I don't know. I just like Goron stuff a lot and this game does it very well. Great ability. Any Goron ability in the Zelda games. 
pretty great. Hi. <laughs> Another hit to keep him there. Number 15. Or my little rap thingy. I don't know, we traveled five steps away, it's gonna be gone. <laughs> right? Isn't that usually the logic? It is. Oh, it's always the logic. Nice. So we are taking heat damage. Yeah, this prevents the heat for a while. For some reason, the effect lasts long in the desert. I don't know why. I guess just to be kind, but... Usually the wetness only lasts for about like 30 seconds, but... For some reason, the desert's one of those areas where it just lasts longer. I think that was intentional. Oh! Nice. <laughs> Explosion, you don't know what to do. Number 16 gives us... Yep, okay. So it should have been four tails in that amount of time. Just one. I don't like those odds. That was a tad upsetting. Um, but we have more of the other stuff, I guess? We're gonna sell it all. Increases our net worth. That's our excuse. So nothing's a waste. There's a dynamic one there. If we travel slow, they'll just spawn in more rapidly. Per square area. Maybe a five shot would do better there. Okay, 17. Nope. Okay. Doesn't big explode. I'll take that. I guess we'll kill number 18 over there and then call it wraps. Oops, hang on. Water, please. Thank you. Fast speed. Come on, Dugo. Hello, sir. Wait, that. The right thing. You, you see it. You see the bomb. <gasps> you just ate them all. He was that hungry. What if we just keep piling them on? <laughs> Not as much as I would have hoped for, but kind of blow each other up though. Oh no! No! <laughs> Friendly fire. <laughs> Here, eat me. Eat me. I got the shield, yes! <gasps> okay, that's my favorite way of doing it. Saturn's multi purpose. Yeah, extra, the extra. You know about? Wait, can we? Oh, that's good too. Honestly, if you had like a vehicle for you know, but just keep like rocketing it into him. Because it has no recharge in a vehicle if it's close like that. Or it comes back fast. Then yeah, that's good. Am I going to bother with the chest? Because there's never stuff I could use. Um, just decayed stuff. We're pristine only now. Okay, let's kill number 18 here. Yeah, just, just for the fun of it. I don't know, it's just so cool, you know? How about ice eyes? Yeah, this will work good. Freeze them all. Oh, just going for that other one. And I guess that could happen too. Mm -hmm. <gasps> yes, okay. We got two with 18, that's good. Not as good as it should have been, but you know what? Be happy for what we have. <laughs> We're now halfway there. We should have almost five now, but I digress. Mm. 
Oh yeah, that was like the best route already. Because you can get that whole loop. You can go there. 19, 20, 21, 22. I, I need those tails. I need those tails pretty bad. Um, there's still a couple other chocolate Zolfos in other places, so... We've been getting those, like, as we go to, like, the jungle and stuff. And even, like, the beach. Uh, it's, like, south of the stable. Like, kind of on the outskirts of the jungle. But, yeah, they like to hide there now. They blatantly show themselves. So. How much does the Maldugo draw? A lot of damage. I don't know. But the guts are good. I know if he's put four guts together with the monster part, you can make an elixir that sells for, like, 800 something so they're pretty good for like selling it just in general like you know what? i'll probably need to do that because i need some more money for these armors to finish oh, our objective here so yeah we might actually do that right after this starting in just a bit we will need everything i'll show wish she could select all for a recipe like the cooking stuff that's just so convenient and Oops. Fan. And just for these four, but it's an important four. Oops. Okay. I don't have my OP, uh, Gliak weapon. Keep showing him back. Okay, got him again. <laughs> I think it was a double hit. Kicked him back, then hit into him. How were that mathed out? Still pretty cool. <laughs> the direct to finish. Number 19 did not drop one. Gradual damage, and then we're gonna pick back up with the eyeball hit. <laughs> Spoil him to a corner of the map. Hmm. Bye. Side on. Get. <laughs> Perfect. It just extends the reach. Same damage and all. I was like, could use silver tails. Those are fun. Put the silver tails on the two-handed weapons. Makes them the best spin attacking stuff. Which, I don't have exactly that. I went for more of a sharper one. So this also has good range, but yeah, it can cut grass. So it's more of a grass cutter. And soldier, so it uses less stamina. Well, spin to winning. That's nice. So, you know what? I never talked about it just one by one. I think I will go redo. I guess I won't. It is cool just having instant lightning. That's what makes your ability cool, just the fact that it's lightning. It's like, that's cool in itself. Uh oh. Did not. Can you mind? Oh! And oh. <laughs> a good and a bad oh. my stuff. <laughs> so my cart's over there. I kind of need it back. <laughs> Snap. Oh, that's our tail lock. Okay. Only 19 of them. Yeah, they're, they're fun. We're about to max on those too. And a lot of it's because we're trying to get these tails. But the other ones are hard too. It just, this is the hardest. I like probably even a lot more. Uh, I think that's only level one heat. Yeah, not all areas. Oh, if you go in shade, it'll help. See, there's some shade coming up, and we are cooler. How oh, cool. We're right out. <laughs> Next one. Oop. Perfect. Brace in the right order. When they are criticals for a lot. Also, no. <laughs> Just 
very upsetty. I don't know, I'm just so enamored by these. It's cool, you know. Get him! Execution. Double. Okay, there's one over there. Um, oh, and also natural one. Okay. We don't get paid enough for this. It comes out of our own pocket, so. Heroism. Oh, wow. Just trying to show me all. Look, he just snapped into that one. Please. Oh, yes! Tail! Okay, one more. I lost count of how many we did, honestly. Bye bye. <laughs> if it's his final one, that'll be very awesome. We're somewhere near 25, though. Pirate ship cannon. That's the best. And did we actually? Oh, we did. Okay. Depending on the way you're going, you have to go a little bit to the left or right. What do we need to do. Thank you. Oh, the second one broke it. And hit him. Got the club sword. Get him. <laughs> Wiped. And the final ta Talon. <laughs> Stop spiting me. Let's push him into it and literally hit it back. Um. So that's basically it. We still need one more. There is other ones, but they're kind of far from other things. Really good, nonetheless. Yeah. That's where the towel gets thrown in. Um, come to Gliak. You know, we should do Sky stuff. We need a couple Star Freemans and Gliak still. For the Gliak cuts. Why don't we do that? Well, it's not quite night. Um, this Gliok's pretty fun. I... Oh, the desert one? Wait a second, can we actually reach one from the desert here? Where, where are you? Why don't I... I don't even see it. What if we built like a super... Uh, lifter... thinger, I guess. Hmm. My preferred way is just having like a hot air balloon and then I put a bunch of rockets in the cap of it and then just attach them one by one. That's fun. Uh, for the sky travel, we did it recently in a run, but uh, like those hover stone, like those zone hover stones, but not like the green ones, the like stone looking ones. They're gray and they're really big. Um, put a bunch of rockets in those. You can do a bunch of horizontal travel because um, you just stay. Don't take a battery. Although they do expire. But... Also, is my stream running weird for some people? It's not showing anything on my end, but sometimes it just happens, so. It only shows on my end if it's like my streaming software itself. If it's like YouTube itself, then it won't show it. It'll just <laughs> freak everyone out and do st stupid stuff. So yeah, I wonder if... That is extremely high up, but it could be fun to try after we kill this guy. <laughs> Because I just like seeing the impossible. We're making it impossible. Oh, yeah, we really are. Hi, <laughs> Hmm. I just didn't have faith that was going to be that. Um, here, if we go to here, make a little... Hmm, dirigible... Nah, uh, having, having the cab is much better. Because it basically has to be rocket. 
Hmm. Where should I think about this better? It's more of a constant source. But we need actually st the rockets to stay in there when we're doing one by one. Duplex to duplex. <laughs> Multi. Okay, the goal here is to put one flame. This would be the highest I ever got one, so we'll see if it's even possible. But it's a pure rocket ship. It's hard to take them out when they're when you're ready in the air. We gotta do one by one. Yep. Load up the sides. Oh, hello. <laughs> See, maybe good we're doing this. We're killing a little time. <laughs> and we'll shot the thing, which would have been very detrimental. Good thing they can't activate anything. And. Oh, not for the loot. Yeah, I'm not using the center thing for anything. You just put like a campfire in there and then throw like an acorn, but the fire gets so big that way that it just damages you. And you're not getting a lot of elevation from that anyways. The rockets are what carries. Okay, now we did all that, so next step is to just next let the next rocket go. You want it to be always active too, that's the thing. Get like the best start possible. I know we're dying of cold. It's okay. It's gonna be awkward. Very much so. But I think this will work just just fine. There we go. And then we're just gonna keep doing that. The matter of height does worry me, of course, but... Oh, come on. It is gated, or graded. Oh, you don't want to do that while it's going, because then slow it down a little bit. What the? Isn't my fire... Oh, there's so many rockets that's carrying so much weight. That part I did not consider. And there goes all of our stuff. You know what? That's fine. Just a little restart. Yeah, my... F no, my flame emitter was doing something. It just... When it went shaky... Or I guess when it was going so fast as the fire blowing. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Okay, we got our stuff back. Here, my plan B is the dirigible. Dirigible. There we go. And how are we gonna make this better? Uh, no, just a couple more balloons. That is very high up, but nonetheless. That and that. Yeah, it adds its own weight, but it's adding more pull ultimately. And theoretically, if it's this big and it's balanced on all four sides, it shouldn't teeter as much so the rockets wouldn't flip off. That's kind of the expectation, I guess. Maybe it's big enough so if I add more rockets, it will actually let me. Because if the space is too small, it won't even pull them out. Okay, he's like loading up ammunition here. 
couple on each side. Uh, or, yeah, I'll make, make sure the full thing's on there at least. Maybe the friction of the rock will keep it in place. I don't know. I'm not a math magician. We're we gonna stand on the rockets. Who knows? And then two more for the actual just starting ascent, just to get a little oomph, you know? So the one thing I hope it didn't make it too heavy where one rocket barely has an impact. Eh, I guess we'll see. Experimentation. I think I did just wonderful. For max effect, I think I do need more on the side. Right. I feel like that's not very high either. You know? But no, that's only two. My last, my final straw here. A final strategy. Yeah, see, that's going to be hard because that's just going to tilt it. No. If we build something crazy elaborate with a bunch of parts, I'm sure it will work. But we don't have that. Well, it's good for getting all the depth pets. That's like the main reason for it. Or you can just wait for one of those rocks. You know what? Or you just wait for one of the rocks. That's typically the answer, isn't it? <gasps> did they really drop that far? I mean, I guess if it is, like... I feel like they're just guiding me to it. It's not actually gonna... It's gonna be out of time by the time, yeah. Want to torment me a little bit? I'm sure it did. It was a Gliok doing it. Gliok torment. Wait, I wonder if... Put it on a hover... Wait a second. Why did I just think of an ingenious idea? You know, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Fine. We're fine. We're vibing. We still have another fairy. I never thought if you just restasis or re. Oh my god! I never actually thought about that. There's another one! Wait. Guess we messed that up. Likely, you know? <laughs> For the smallest actual little bit. Only problem is we literally have to... I guess it doesn't have to fully hit the ground, you know? Please, 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 please. Skydive armor. Oh my god. Don't even tell me. Don't even tell me. <gasps> you can do that. I don't even know where the last one was, but we're definitely past it now. We're getting close. Oh my god, the sun's getting crazy. Whoop. And... <gasps> yes! Okay. 
That is nuts. We got so close. Okay, um... I guess get lucky with another falling thing? Uh... What is our goal? Well, we can't get the stick if we put a battery on it. Because battery makes the range basically infinite. But good luck doing that when you're, like, here, I guess. Okay. Now that platform is just going to stay there. I mean, could you try like a super spring and see how that goes? Maybe. Hmm. And so I think the notion of just... Rito air, where space is limit, not sky. <laughs> Just space. No kidding, though. It's crazy cool, at least. The arrow just went flippies. That's really minor distance, isn't it? <gasps> I think we just got the same amount. Well, certainly. Oh, you can't... I mean, if you're feeling really just... Oh, yeah, I guess you can ladder this way, can't you? Oh, yeah, I, I never thought about that. Minor distance, but... <laughs> this is a way up. Like, this is an option that we can do. We're not going to mess it up either. I've spent too much time. The blood moon. <laughs> I was gonna get those lizards when we're done. Cool. Perfect strategy. If I'm already on the corner, that means we can easily get the next one, right? Yeah, we bring it to the max height. But really what we should be doing. So that's that's good for a small distance, you know? Oh, if you bring it to the max height, then it's gonna struggle. Okay. That part I didn't consider. What do we do after this, son? Because we have that, right? We go there. A little lower, but ultimately. We're just building this platform out. It'd be two separate. Because that should increase my workable space, right? Yeah! Now let's stick it. And theoretically, that should stick to make a super spring, right? Yeah. Okay. I never tried climbing like this before. That's actually really cool. It's not a super, super spring, but two is still pretty close. How much did that take us? Satisfactory. Um, what is an actual better way, though? We might have to triple the springs. Okay. Or wait, no, we'll just build a hot air balloon. Okay. <laughs> we build the hot air balloon on this platform itself. Okay, let's hope that works out after this. You know, it's like casually ignoring the blood moon. That, that's fine. Totally fine. Make sure stuff just turns off for no reason. But that is more... more okay. <laughs> Slow and steady. They're all falling now. Yep, one by one. Just out of range. That's actually kind of cool. Our past efforts. They're the reasons why you made it this far. 
Something else is floating. I can't tell what it is, though. I, I will eat some hearty. Because I don't know if this is going to kill me or what, but... Oh, it does make it fast. Oh, because they're torches. I see. I see how that works now. Oh, so it's more contained. But we can't get the super flame from that. Slash super rise. So I just keep fueling it. That's actually really cool. Okay, it doesn't look faster, but it is. Promise. Can we ascend through that, or what's the scoop? We'll do one more. I'm a little impatient. <laughs> I'll just like shut it off. I'm like, oh, no. oh yeah, it is showing it. <laughs> it's the torch is just doing it, so it doesn't need the battery technically. It's very convenient. Wait, does that mean you can use? Oh, you can probably wind power it then. I think that's the point. Cool. Um, now safe way would be to. I don't know if you can ascend through that. I think that's kind of like a death sentence. But there should be better. I think you can ascend up this. Yep, okay. King Gliok time, at last. That was a very fun way up. Hello, Mr. Gleok. The last one we have to kill in the save. We've killed quite a bit. We need nine just for this final upgrade, though. So... You know what? Self-limits. Let's go in with just OP sword. Radiant shields, too. Represent the desert. Yeah. Because you can just use key eyeballs and... Well, there's a lot of different ways you can simplify it. We're gonna beat the cold. Just for a flashier shot. It did nothing, but it looked cool. It didn't actually look very quick. Okay. Got one. <laughs> gonna aim still, two, and get the speed in there. Perfect. <laughs> one, two, three. Okay. Let's see if we can do damage list minus the uh, elemental, environmental. Not all elements. He's elemental. Got him. He's a little crazy. Got the head. He's putting good use to this bow. <laughs> Perfect. Trying to do the no bowl time challenge. Not much of a challenge, I guess. Can we actually get him before the final phase? <laughs> nah, I like doing the final phase. That's a true test of skill. So we're damageless. Besides the environment. I guess I wasn't cover. <laughs> Never mind, it damage less. Well, we did our best. <laughs> Eat a couple apples so we don't use the fairy if we get shot again. Okay, so the goal is you want to wait for the lightning phase to just about end. You do have to bait out an ice cola. Because those ones are more to where you are, lightning's just up to where. There we go. End of icicle phase, or end of lightning phase. Gonna do it again, crap. Yes, okay, we're safe. Woo! We got launching, okay. And one, two, simple and clean. This does look cool. All right. <laughs> Snap. 
And that is the final King Liak we have to kill. All for the gut. Which is absolutely perfect. On this stunning morning. Oh my god. <laughs> the sun is shining. Still freezing though. But yeah, we can upgrade that. Uh, Fierce and Sword right above the desert and the Lizzles respawn though. I'm still trying to get that final shock tail. Because that was kind of a perfect coincidence. So. You know, I'm going for the shock tail. We're going to get it this time. <laughs> They're right over there. We have attack armor. Just do it all before the temperature kills us. Okay. Any one of them can be it. One in four chance, though. And you are... Super close. Okay. I see him. Go for the range. It's not. The eye's not glowing up, so he doesn't see him yet. Always pay attention to the key size, so. Yep, it's not glowing or anything. Yep, oh, it just started. So. See, not glowing. Glowing. <laughs> I actually like that indicator. It's very helpful. So it's gonna hit its target. It won't. It will. Just the wrong target. Wing! <laughs> a double. A little backup. No harm. <laughs> You're fast with those, but the spin was predetermined. <laughs> no? I'm gonna let you guys do a little something. Oh! <laughs> Let's do my blocking too. Oh no! <laughs> I was thinking my guys could fancy on them. <laughs> They're just... Kill hits. Oh. <laughs> right. Good sword. Okay. None for that. We just need one more tail and that's it. We got the final Gliacot. Almost the final tail. We're doing great. It'll hit its mark. Oh, no, we just went out of range, actually. <laughs> Sometimes it still will miss. How creative. Nope. I can't quick spin anymore. It's like a curse. It only does the quick spin after I kill the enemy. Used to be very close. I think it, they didn't make it harder since Breath of the Wild. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm not the only one who said that. Bye. <laughs> so close, too. Okay, come on. Be kinder to me. Drop the full body. Okay. A lot of those. We're selling every throw and we're like 300. Which is a good selling point, too. Killing this guy. Any more will have to warp, but I guess we can also well, maybe get more swift files. I don't know. No, this one has to be it. We've killed like 30 of them already. And I've only gotten three. And that's not an exaggeration. I just wish it was. But the world's cruel. Oh, nice! Body shot, because no head. A little hit, hitbox, okay. Alright, that's not going to do any damage. It's a shock attack. They're immune to those, actually. I'm sure that wasn't surprising. <gasps> yes! Okay! <laughs> After 3,000 of them, we'll just say that. All the tails, all the glia cuts, um, almost fall into violets, but... Okay, I'm gonna do that. We're gonna get a couple star fragments first, so we can just do another thing on top of that, though. Um, quick star, star fragment method, which is right here. Not nighttime, but it's fine. Because, yeah, a few more of those, and that'll let us know what types of gems we need for the final ones. Because the fragments are for the green tunics. Um, but those green tunics also require a lot of gems. And I'm pretty sure I have almost enough for all of them.
<laughs> We're talking about Age of Calamity. Very fun. I I did like the villains from that game. Uh, there was two humanoid villains in that that weren't in Breath of the Wild. I thought they were cool, especially Suga. But Suga and Koga's dynamic was really fun. So Age of Calamity was a fun time. It's not a game I'm really eager to like replay or anything. But I don't know, for just like living within that past world of the Great Calamity, just hyperbolized, you know, with even huger battles and whatnot. And of course, the further you get into the game, it's more of a... You realize it's more of an alternate timeline, but it's still cool. You still fight Guardians and Lionels and all that. And with a lot of the characters, like Link and whatnot, uh, you have a very, like, Breath of the Wild-esque feeling moveset. So, as Link, you can still parry and flurry rush and, you know, use your bow and arrow. It's very fun. You can parry with, like, Urbo Urbosa, too, because she has a shield. And yeah, you have the Rito characters. Uh, I like Mifa personally with all the water attacks. So, yes, Age of Calamity is very fun. Also, I did not get a Star Fragment. I don't know the fault in the method, but once in a while I just don't get it. And I don't know why. So if it does happen, just keep going as normal, I guess. But usually my Star Fragment method is warping here, and then switch between here and a Labyrinth every night. Hmm. Sometimes it just takes one to do it. And I don't know. It's awkward. I don't dupe any resource, but if I were to have Star Fragments would have been the one, because the only way to get them is tedious methods, basically. Or, to get them in a quantity that's needed enough. At least the Lizzle tailing, you're still in combat and stuff and doing fun stuff. But for these last few, just... Oh. Jump and dive. Hello! There we go. You know, yeah, I will get a horn. <laughs> How often do you see this? Not very. You're gonna get all fiery on me. Ah, getting cooked. I'm a cookie. We're good. Let's get all 12. Three. Four. Five, six, seven. They're all tiered to the front half. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, awesome. There's no more. <laughs> Just 12. That's the max amount. It's been forever, so you get to claim the max amount. Well, that's convenient. I don't need them for the upgrades anymore, but still cool. Hmm. Yeah. What do you guys feel about uh, this being the end of the Breath of the Wild trilogy? Because, uh, I remember, well, it's like when this, when Breath of the Wild came out, it just, it was so spectacular, everyone just kind of assumed there would be a sequel, and it did come, so it was very surprising, and happy that the announcement was made, of course, but, uh, it was one of those where we felt it, but we definitely did not expect a prequel, although a different style, it's like a Warriors game, but the Age of Climbing was cool, so, in a way, there's your trilogy, because everything's a trilogy now, so, boom, I'll take it. I think the only other trilogy in the Zelda series would be uh, Wind Waker with uh, Phantom Hourglass Spirit Tracks. But even then, it's more so indirect. Because Phantom Hourglass is a lot different from Wind Waker, despite having boat stuff. But it's still kind of right after. Spirit Tracks was a different length, I'm pretty sure. Which I, I didn't finish that one. But they're all pretty fun. Um, they're kind of like slower paced 2D games. The 2D games usually are more brisker, but Phantom Hourglass Spirit Tracks are a bit slower paced, kind of like how uh, Wind Waker is. Or just other 3D Zelda's, rather. No diss to Wind Waker. I want to play it again soon. Yeah, we'll eat out of stable. Minish Caps are going great. Uh, a few streams into it, and we're getting to some really good parts. Um, 
Again, I love 2D stuff because it just... Yeah, it's the pacing, as I said. Like, just the way you uncover the map is just a lot faster. You're finding little caves more frequently and using little items, little puzzles, combat. It's all just very condensed compared to this. And this is fun because it's that, you know... I don't want to say drawn out adventure, but there's a lot of good room to breathe and think and it makes everything so impactful. And it really is dense in its own way. But the 2D games have that in a smaller scale. So I I just really appreciate that. Are Dragonhorns only slashing stuff? Uh, I mean, the spikes are hammers, so I think that's good personally because hammers are stronger against like rock enemies like taluses because one-handed and spear hammers do 25 percent more damage against like taluses while the two-handed hammers do 50 percent more so it's really good for that stuff um i recommend yeah that's why it's like oop, we'll get this one nice when you kill a Lionel uh, in this game, it drops two parts. There's one that's just always slightly weaker, but that one's a hammer attachment. So if you're using it against the right enemies, it technically is stronger than the other. So I find that cool. Like there is a good distinction because Breath of the Wild already had the hammer thing. Um, and things like Talus's were weaker to the hammers, not the drill shaft because he forgot to code it. Um, <laughs> that's my excuse. But yeah, I like that. Just different type of weakness. Also, I forgot to use the cooking pot. Is my backup? <laughs> Making a fire up here, and we're gonna skydive. Watch this work. <laughs> Oh my god, it did! What? <laughs> and up here, too. That's kind of silly. Okay, I didn't expect that to work. But the drop down flame place. So beautiful, too. Luxurious night. Wow. Yeah, I'm using this nice excuse to eat up all this stray food. Oh, was okay. Still good enough of a fall. Four of them. Is it cool? Oh, that wasn't as cool. Next time we'll get it through. But yeah, this warp is good because it has a star fragment drop here and a cooking pot. So you can keep cycling it. Okay. Let's get two more of these, though. Because then we can see exactly what we need for the final tiers. That's basically our goal of doing this. Hmm. So, we're maxing out the Ancient Heroes aspect, maxing out the rubber armor, which we've definitely used before. Um, we're also maxing out the green tunics, so. Which shows ones are more so novelty, but since there's so much like past hero loot, like all the amiibo items, uh, and like Sword of Six Sages and Big Orange Sword. It matches really well with the corresponding amiibo gear. So I do like that. At least gives you an attack up step bonus. It's just like a level one attack buff, but it's handy. I hear it. Oh, it's over here. Five, and let's do it just once more. Actually, screw it. <laughs> Because we upgraded... Yeah. I don't have a reason. I just want to see the upgrades first. So. It's not overdoing anything. We got a few. A lot of Koroks. Also, while we're here, we could get fairies. Because I realized we just had one. Because of the climbing. The desert mishap. Hmm. Okay. What was that again? Well, well. <laughs> there it is. Oh, close. <laughs> I 
This is a stealth game, isn't it? Um, evil stealth. Evil spirit? Collecting some healing spirits. And froggies. So silly. Oh, I can take a picture, but he was bouncy. Or hoppy. He's happy to see me. I only do the overkill because I'm trying to do that quick spin. Basically, just a matter of hoping that it works. That's basically what I'm doing every single time. I just over attack something. See, it's like if you get it once, you just keep getting it. You have to spin it around. Hidden technique. It's. Yeah. It's going to destroy my hands in the next five years, but we're fine. So. You know, we'll pay for a little restore. Yeah. It's a funny one. Yeah, like, there's just like a balloon on the serene mountain now. After we finish all the caves, he just puts it there. It's no longer Satori Mountain. It's Colton Mountain. Just took it over. Okay. <laughs> Just a random ingredient they need that we already did. I have a challenge. Uh, just try to go one hour without touching my fingers on my glasses lens. I have to keep wiping them. That's fun. I don't know how many points I have. I just stopped collecting the rewards. But we'll do that also in the final stream to see how many we've accumulated. Because it just alternates between the in coupons and the carrots. So. Don't necessarily need it. Eek. Sorry. Horsey. Ah. You know who. Lord Fries! <laughs> ah. Hmm. Why is a cookie called a cookie? And why is bacon ah. called a bacon? When you cook bacon and bake a cookie. Because the world isn't fair. That's why. I I hate that one so much. You know, clearly when they're making language, they kind of just glossed over that one. Rather when they're making the wards. Yeah, because language was established and they're like, huh. So this thing that we're going to cook? Bacon. This thing we're going to bake? Cookie. You know, just blame it on the first one that came up. But, yeah. Let's, let's, let's say cookies came out first. Or I, I don't know. What came first, the cookie or the bacon? Because that's who's to blame. Because, you know, maybe the inventor of the cookie was like, oh, there's this thing I'm going to bake. I'm going to gonna call it bacon. Oh, wait, bacon exists. Okay, cookie. So that that's where the struggle lies. And uh, we'll blame them. And I need to look up a history lesson on what came first. <laughs> the world is surrounded in hypocrisy. Too much. Okay, um. Oh! We needed. <laughs> it wasn't four more we needed, it was 12 more we needed. Because there's one for each. I'm just gonna say it already, we're not doing all that today. I know the goal today was to finish all that, but it took us like so long to get all of those tails. Just four tails. We killed like 30 of them for that. Well, we're gonna get close. You know what, that, that's the important part. So assuming we have normal odds, I'm still gonna have to kill 32 more. We need to... Th well, the stream title does say do all, but I don't want to be here till like 1 a.m. I care a little bit more about my mental sanity. Um, no, it was fun. See, like, 
the thing is, at least doing it in small waves, it's like, yeah, you know, we're going on a little desert adventure, killing some things, increasing our net worth and materials. Um, but no, then any more today would be just a nuisance. So I'm going to protect myself. Also, we need diamonds. That's good to know. But today is still the biggest push we'll ever have for these. I feel like we'll probably get a lot more in the next stream then. But today will be the last stream focused primarily on this. We're going to split the rest of the workload then between the rest of the stuff. So, and to just make sure it's actually justified. Well, let's upgrade the... 1500 rupees oh wow but we have the gliak guts um okay let's first do some of these what should we max out we already started maxing out this so yeah yeah let's just max out the awakening stuff see if we have enough lumis stones here we go I like how they added at least one green tunic. Because, yeah, the Romanists of the past games, and there was one technically new game between Breath of the Wild and Tears. Well, it was a remake, but. Uh, yeah. It's in the ballpark. The rest were remasters. Remaster isn't special enough to get something like this, but. This armor is based off of the look from a remake, not the original game, so. Also, will we have enough luminous stones? <laughs> I really thought we were close, didn't I? Mm. So do swift files go on the size of those mushroom trees in the Ridgeland? I'm not sure I can pull up a map though. Also, we still need 13 more. That's nice. Um... We must need a lot more sapphire too. Mm. Right, I just want to. Mm. I thought I was gonna be. Yep, we're right there. Uh, I like them strong. Uh, it's ten per tier. Okay, so it's six per tier for these. So twelve. Oh my god, 22, 32, 42 more sapphires to upgrade them all. And we have fifteen. Also, yeah, money is just an issue now, because... Well, let's make some money. I just meant to do shield, sir. But you know what? This works, too. Okay, um, let's get cooking. Because that's going to be possible in this rain. Right? Wait, where's the cooking pot? Just for a reference? Oh, it's here. It's just so rained out. You know what you do when you can't cook in the rain? Oops. You force it to. We're cooking. <laughs> okay. Basically what I said earlier with the Mulduga guts we got. Which are somewhere. They are a thing that exists. Okay. One, two, three, four. Just with the... Lizard. I just put one on uh, arrowhead lizard. Oh, can you not cook like that? Wait, why can't you? Huh. I guess you can't interact with the cooking pots when they're like that. I couldn't even sleep by them. But for normal campfires, you can. What a shame. Almost as if the rain's going to end in a minute or something. I love this game. <laughs> We're taking it in. You know what? No, that's... That's 45 seconds too far away. You know what we're gonna do? Up and down, up and down. You just have to have motion. Up, 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 up. Created a dry spot. There we go. One, two, three, four. And problem solving. Perfect. Not for the effect, just for the ingredients inside. 
One. One, two, three, four. And one more. One, two, three, four. Or, let's do it the fancy way. Select for... Yep. <laughs> this is the only thing I cook with. Yeah, literally, I only made it with this, too. <laughs> I never experimented. I mean, because it's just the same thing. Um, it's basically increasing the sell value by multiplied. So what you would sell that gut for times four, because there's four guts, times the price of the lizard. And then the multiplier for cooking with five things is, I think, 80% more. So if you sold these as ingredients, it would be worth like 500, if I'm doing my math right. But instead, it's going to be like 850-ish. Um, it's around the ballpark. We'll see. So yeah. If you cook five things in a pot, uh, it increases the sell value by like 80% compared to if you just did it normally. I'm not trading that. That's what I've got. Yeah, 806. Okay. So it'd be just around... 500 or just before 500 I think if you sold them individual okay that cover is a bit more okay covers like the ancient heroes aspect and two more pieces but we're gonna finally max out the aspect uh, which will be cool bye bye temporary stamina we're just gonna use a little bit Okay, we're just a small silver. Mm. Also, yeah, I have all the bubble rewards. Uh, we have the Colton balloon on the cave. <laughs> Hello, guys. It's... Yeah, we did the wells a couple streams ago, too. We found the last one along with all the side quests. Yeah, the caves and bubble gems was a couple mm -hmm. months ago already. Wells was a couple weeks ago. Uh, Time really flies. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the Ancient Heroes of Aspect... Uh, has same amount of defense points as I think the maxed out zone I set, which we don't have, so I can't really. The 28 times 3 is also 84. Yeah. Wow, a lot of Lionel parts, but we've mm -hmm. been killing a lot. Uh. Max it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's not going to change anything. I know it's not a reward for getting all the armors. Because there's a lot of uh, loose interpretation on what 100% of this game could be. So, yeah, generally it's main content, side quests, anything that's like trackable number or anything, key items, um, obviously main story, so, shrines, all that, caves. But armor is my other one, so... Not everyone includes armor. I didn't include it in Breath of the Wild because uh, you couldn't hold all the armors in one page if you had amiibos because there was like a limit to the armor for some reason. But in this game, it's uncapped. So I included it. And boom. <laughs> well, it's going to look the same as the rest, but 84 defense. Just one piece. One piece. Yeah. It's freaky. Master Sword for that <laughs> 15 damage beam instead of 10. So fancy. Okay. Well, <laughs> with that, Lord Fries. Um, I did want to get some Volt Fin and some other Swift Violets. And over here, we found it out recently. Because before, I only knew where uh, Volt Fins were, like in Hebra. But there should be a ran lot of random fish spawns around here, and. I'm just going to hope to find him there. We'll start from here. And I'm also going to look up the uh, Swift Files too. So let's pull up a little thing for that. Um, I'm going to pull up the object map, which is in my description. Does this work? It's not working. <laughs> well, that's nice. Uh, sorry, one second. I usually have a little overlay. And it's the one day it decides not to work too. Is very cool. There we go. Perfect. Um... So we're just going to type in, or fix that. We're going to type in Swift Violet. Is it really all that? Sometimes it pins other stuff because it 
naming's weird. But there's a lot more than I thought there would be. Okay. So they seem to be, yeah, I guess really just anywhere in the coal area. Which is crazy because this is now the, uh, you know, starter area and you get the better speed material. But there's a lot here. And yeah, you were right about the mushroom trees. Uh, there are so files on them. Okay. So that's good to know too. Thank you. Because yeah, you mentioned that. I was like, huh, good point. <laughs> a lot in the canyon. A couple just odd areas like by the waterfall. Like areas where they kind of want you to target to climb up. You might be around. Actually a lot there. Wow. Um, oh yeah, and some on the path leading up, but it's a little all the way. It's good to know. It is very specific areas of the world, you know? Or clumped up, but I digress. We're just here for a couple of Voltfin trout. That is what we're gonna do. Oh, so you know what would have made this armor cooler? Is if it can just like mimic the effect of any uh, other existing set. At least for the buff portion, because I don't know, there's always like a cool late game armor. It would just be cool just to wear to have, but it is always outclassed by effect and more so novelty. Because do you really need Master Sword beam up? No. But if it mimicked, I don't know, if you could select any other effect, it would be cool because it's like, Hey, you work for the final set, it can be like its own thing, you know? Rather than just, oh wow, cool novelty, I'm not going to wear it because the other set bonuses are better. And not too much of a stretch because it's like, I don't know, Zonai or something, that can be the explanation. I don't know how it would work mechanically, it just... More people would want to use it, that's for sure. Customizable, maybe. So I remember seeing in these waters specifically a bunch of Volfin trouts, but I think it's just random. But did I want to check anyways? Yes. Hmm. So it needs thermal immunity. There, there's so many different things it could have had. water was very full. Also, I love like the zero stamina cost dashes. It's like free swimming. I like free. I'm not even gonna take it. Hmm. So is this just a random event and I'm getting lucky? I think so. But I saw a bunch of Volfins last time I was here. Okay, so it is unlucky. We we just came there for the sake of it. Hmm. Here, I'm gonna warp somewhere and then explain my thought process in a second. But uh here. Warping there just to get that construct and the swift file it's there. But then secondly, we're gonna go to a Volfin Trot place. Cause we did this before, but we can pull my map again and if we go Voltfin Trout. It only pins the actual static, like, guaranteed spawns. There's a lot of, like, random spawns, like the domain, but obviously it doesn't always happen. So, it's this little lake in Hebrew. That's the only guaranteed place to get them around this island. Um, I think they spawn randomly on top of that, but there's those five guaranteed ones always. Assuming they're respawned in. So that's neat. Literally lava and island. Okay, yeah, but we're just getting these few things. It's kind of back and forth. All right, that activates the fans. Natra. Hmm, okay. So that waterfall should have a bunch of swift files on it. And, uh, I'm pretty sure that construct we need to kill, which is a sword pin. It's coming up. Oh, Star Fragment, right. And we unintentionally got one of those, too. <laughs> See? 
It all connects. Still needed them, we still get them. Is that a Korok seed? We already got that one. Oh yeah, we did. I was like, it just literally didn't spawn in. We're undoing the seed. <laughs> Ding. Negative one. Here, this was. Is this one we needed or? We need the twos, but the threes afterwards. So. Yep, that was the final two we needed. Okay. For the zone I set. Also, if you don't want to climb, Master Beams work wonders. But we had the Zora set, so. That's why I want to go here. <laughs> this is actually a really good way. I'm. I was like, we put on this armor for something. A few of these. A couple on that side. Three? Oh, wow. I think we needed like six of them. Which, that was six, right? Oh, the super clean falls. That other one. Nice. That's fun. Yeah, that waterfall would touch down if it's raining. Which I didn't understand that at first. It was someone who pointed it out to me during stream, but uh, yeah, the waterfalls touch down when it's raining. So it's great for travel. That's why whenever I do play this game like for a second time, like a second full time, um, I might do the Zora area first just again for the armor. Because that's why they kind of recommend in Breath of the Wild first because you get the armor, and if you go to, like, the jungle or just waterfalls around, you have that advantage now. Because it's, like, the only region that gives you, like, a unique, like, item, you know? Like, the ability to swim up waterfalls. So, there's something totally unique that can't be done with by any other means. So, in this game, honestly, maybe a same, same thing. Because that would be cool. Really did any damage though? Just... Oh, his weapon's on fire. It didn't blow it up. Hit it! Yes! Okay. <laughs> Almost got me too, but we're safe. Ooh. Hit him into the water? Oh, we actually can, can't we? Pretty close. Just a little bit further back. No, we're just going to bully him before that. Yes! Did we actually get it? We did! Perfectly! Somehow. Sorry, guys. I can use that stuff. Oh, it always chains off one thing. That part's not cool. You know what? Screw the lizard. I'm, I'm satisfied with this. <laughs> These are the spoils. That was cool. There's more swimming up the stream. So we're getting caught. We'll I'll take it for what it is. Okay, my next fishy type is Wolfins. So, we shall do that too. Literally on the sweep. It's satisfying. It's going about in interesting ways. These guys have some very good hearing, so. Ooh, that breaks them. You don't steal me. No. <laughs> Tried. <laughs> it sprung. Oh, come on. All right, you know what? You guys have your fun. I was trying to be fancy. They were just trying to be fun. But fun is fancy. Uh, let's technically it for the twos then, so I can delete that. I don't remember what your other ones were that, but we're actually pretty close with all constructs in general. 
go to the plunge. Yeah. Okay, there. Plunge in there. Get some Voltfin Trout. Okay. <laughs> Next up. Zelda and Dinner are all the prettiest dragons, though. They're all so cool. I've never been able to really separate it. Because it is kind of like what they're based off of. Uh, they're all like three or I guess four different parts of the same whole. Because the dragons are supposed to represent like power, wisdom, courage. Like just that trinity. There's always three that balance each other out. So they're equally as beautiful too and stunning. This game just adds a couple more dragons, but still equally awesome. Okay, it's down there. You know, what if we just really quickly... I <laughs> we try to find any opportunity to get a star fragment. Not all places you can skydive and get a fragment. And I have not gone through the effort of seeing all the locations where you can and can't. But we test it one by one through situations like this. Any coal resistance? Sorry, I'm like struggling. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just going to swim it and figure it out. I have a feeling that this area doesn't give you the fragments, so. Because it's like a main story area, so it doesn't want you getting sidetracked all the time. Because actually, in some of the archipelagos, like the Zora one, it actually prevents the dragons from spawning or like appearing, so you don't like get sidetracked and like leave during the main story. So there's like certain little things that they impose to kind of, I guess, sectionalize the gameplay. So I believe that's why star fragments don't spawn either. It's not confirmed, that's just a theory, and it seems to line up pretty well. Mm. Oh, guys. Oh, it's like the baby starting area. <laughs> Unfair. But fun. Get them all. Side on. I can never do that one. <laughs> I do. Nice. <laughs> Victory roll away. He's so happy about that. I wish I could do the Goron roll. At least in past games, you could add like somersault move. Just roll around. Or hell, Majora's Mask, you could literally just Goron roll because you could be a Goron. And that's why it's one of the best games. Okay, let's look for these volt fins. There's five guaranteed. And despite being shockfish, they are not shockproof. <laughs> Which is super handy for us. Yep, <laughs> the only guaranteed ones are here in the world. At least there's a couple guaranteed. I think I got my initial ones through Amiibo, actually. And that's how I completed the compendium. Because I completed the compendium before I saw a single natural one. Because I just took a picture of the Amiibo one. I just... Oh, well. Oops. I'm a hat. Is the water going to be freezing? Wait, I didn't even have Oh, it wasn't freezing. I was always swimming through it. But the current does kind of suck. So we're going to just... Hmm. I have a plan. Bounce up. Cooling gust. And then we swim with the current as we find other ones. As we're currently finding none of them. Or we can kind of beat the current. Yeah, we are. Okay. And this hopes will spawn. If not, we at least got those five. Which is a start. At best. Oh, 
Oh, there's some more. Is that them though, or is it just random? I couldn't tell ya. Nope, the other ones. <laughs> now it's just at the world's mercy here. friends <laughs> it's a little quiet they just see a bigger fish in the water they understand the food chain and good for them not for me it's like we can just go back to when they respawn which it does work out for like a random thing it's not blood moons and it's sun showering great <sighs> Right when we're about to give up. Well, I should never. We might be swimming faster to swim. No, we have to push against it. But they are too. Cool win. Uh, is that even the right ones? It is. Okay. Ten of them. I didn't see how many we needed, but trying to find them all naturally this way might be a pain. I wonder why it is. Okay. Um. Well. We could just go to another fairy font and see where we're at. Because we got some more stuff. And. To be honest, it's our best bet. You about to go there. It's Fairy font's not here anymore. Um, oh, one in the cold. Let's do that. Since so we're working on uh, the zone A one. Which we might be able to finish now, because um, we needed some special captain parts, like the mid-tier ones, but a lot of they'll scale to high, so that's why we didn't get those, or at least enough of them. Um, trying to max out the snow boots, which the swift files, I believe we're good on now, and then we'll see. But yeah, the ancient heroes aspect was a big one, and that's finally done. Required nine total King Leoc kills. And we need some of those other King Leox to get, uh, I believe, the Royal Guard stuff upgraded, which that was a few more. Um, fish out of water, truly. It looks cool with the light blue and the metallic stuff. I didn't mean to board him. Lord Fries. Right. I usually never board my horse, so. Oops. There's no real reason not to have the horse out somewhere. In fact, it's kind of surprising if you just leave a horse somewhere and you just spend a long time in your adventure without the horse. And you happen to travel back to that spot and there's your horse waiting for you. That's like the funniest thing. Either that or uh, when you're just out and about and you just whistle because you're trying to use that as an alert or you accidentally press it. And your horse just gradually starts running to you from like halfway across the field. That's always fun. Break the cart. Oh, wait, we did hit him off. Maximum effort to this guy. Shock to keep the head up. Er. The cart's trying to block it. Whose side are you on? <laughs> Charge! <laughs> Double damage. One more. <laughs> In there. Lord Fries does it all. We need that overkill? No. <laughs> we do what suppose. You're free, horsies. No more ownership. See the Gliak in the distance. Yeah. Okay, well, we're gonna max this out and just see where we are. Yeah. That was a really big push today. Um, it's like I would go a little bit longer. I probably need to take care of my headache, though. Yeah. I've been getting a lot of headaches lately. So we might just call it for this week. Um, which would also be fine because, uh, well, 
pretty much throughout this week, I've been finishing up my challenge run, which I'm trying to get up soon. Um, since I'll be busy next week for stream, I will try to get up the video for that week instead. So that might be what our agenda is looking like then for the next week. For this, okay, we had 10. Okay, so we have to get 10 more, which isn't that bad. So let's start with that, <laughs> with more Gliok parts. Actually, I like these pants. I use them a lot, so I'll do that first. Oh. Jump. <laughs> Silly laugh. 20. <laughs> Also, I forgot to mention, but I do have Boink with me, so just here. He's the mini pig. Oh, wait. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Boink. All right, I set up travel medallions when blood moons happen. Um, it's not a bad plan for a lot of things. Uh, it just, since a lot of them are material spawns, materials don't spawn with uh, blood moons. They respawn just randomly throughout time. Oh, so we can do that. Okay. Two nature scales, which was an odd one, but we've been holding it for that. So, you know what? Max snow boots. <laughs> Realize we'll need a couple more rupees, too. <laughs> Alright. Fine work. Um, get a couple more rupees. <laughs> In spite of the lizards earlier, I'm just going to sell, like, a bunch of that stuff. I think we're only almost maxed out on the talons. Here. Max snow boots. Okay. Feel good about that. See, another way to have 60 armor. Normal Rito set's been complete for a while. And now this version is too. The full speed version. We'll just heal up at the stables like we always do. Max speed, max stamina. Dashing through the snow. Don't even try it. Don't, don't. Oh, okay. They maneuvered well. <laughs> Bullet horse. Oh, guys, jump. <laughs> Jumps over Addison's hip. I guess so. The bird. I love that. Did I buy all the earrings? I did. All the jewelry is bought too. Um, anything that can be bought is. And we maxed out all that stuff besides the diamond circlet, which we need like three more. So. Which that's one I almost forgot about. So. For diamonds, you can get them decently fast from rare talises. It's a little better than like a 50-50 shot, I believe. I forgot the exact odds. But it's in that ballpark. Hmm. I mean, no, I'm... Buying from him, actually. Or selling. Just one I wanted to do specifically. It was a Lizzle part. Um, where was it? Most of my bulk monster resources, I just been selling anything past 300. Yeah. <laughs> from 944. <laughs> so 544 of them? This could actually be enough rupees for the rest of the run. I don't know why. I just sell all these to 300 evenly. So. Or 644. Yeah. I can math. Almost 10. Wow. There we go. We just had them stacked like that. Now, 500 to pop for the final armors. Uh, that should be enough. All right. We'll just do everything we can right now, and then uh, we'll call it that. We maxed out the snow boots. We maxed out the ancient heroes aspect. Got a bunch more of the green tunics. Um, and we're about to do... Well, well, we did one in the charge set. Yeah, and we're about to do something. So we'll see what that something is. Likely the zone I set, at least the next tier, if not max. I greatly overestimated how, or underestimated how much there was an upgrade. But it's way crazier than what there was in Breath of the Wild. Well, 
one, the requirements are even more, and two, uh, well, the fact that there's so many armors in the game. A lot of them are upgradable. And yeah, the rupee padding stuff, which is awesome. I like dying mine fun colors, too. Like, my rupee stuff's red to match the, uh... No, not to match anything, just to look cool. I thought that was a good color. And to have, like, red hair, so if you want, like, a different look. Because it's, like, Link's new hair. Okay, let's see. Um, have all those. The soldier contract stuff's easy, because we always see a bunch of those. Large Zonite. And we'll see what the final one is, but I believe it's Captain Three Parts, and I believe we are full of those. Hands away, and yeah! Oh, we have one, one to spare. We're fighting a bit more of those in the twos. And then the saw blades. Large Zonite we don't need. Yeah. It's the most upgrades we did in one day in a very long time. So not just very few things, a couple more star fragments, the gems, and still those tails, but spread across multiple streams will be not bad at all. It looks like we can do two more upgrades, exactly. Um, could see how much the, those ambers are almost filling, filling up. Um, but you know, to make it even, we could... No. So I'm, I'm going to back and forth with my awards. Uh, we upgraded just one of each tier because I want to see how much the final ones were. So we're 406 for level 2 to 3. And now because we did one upgrade, we know it's level 10s for the final. So 10, 20, 30, 36, 42 more sapphires for this total. We have 15. Um, now for the hero stuff, I have 47 rubies, but... It's probably going to be 6 for this tier, 10 for the next. Let's just see. Okay. I assume it's going to be the same thing, so 10 for the final tier. Okay. So 10, 20, 30, 36, 42. Wait. Oh, so we're just one ruby short for that. We're a few, or quite a few for sapphires, but just one ruby short, which we'll get just by finding the sapphire stuff. Um, but I'm sure we won't be short on ambers. That's 90 ambers we need for to so far. Um, maybe it's 50 for the final tier, unless it's like something crazy like 100. Yeah, I'm gonna say a hundred for the final tier. That's that's definitely a high ball, but what? I just want to see the other ones. Let me see. Hands this. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I I knew it was much, but four. <laughs> really. You know, it was probably 10, 20, 30, 40. I thought it was going to really just, like, sock me there. It went from 6 to 10, so I'm kind of thinking, okay, so it's a wrong double. But maybe it's going to be really egregious for the fact that it's such a common commodity. But nope, just 40. So, 40, 80, 120, 50... W Wait. 40, 80, 120. Yeah, 180 more amber, which we... <laughs> that literally means we'll have still over 600 after doing all this. Because we've been purposely hoarding it, but... Oh, well. well. At least we now know what the final stuff is. We need a couple more star fragments. Uh, sapphires. One more ruby. Um, those are all kind of slight things. We're just going to go one by one just to see exactly what's left. Three more diamonds. Ten more volt fins. I didn't see that. Okay. We made a huge push though. Okay. The eight tails, of course. And that shows that the rest of the topaz. Perfect. Oh, we didn't get... We can just buy these though. We just need uh, eight of them. We can buy them at stables. So that will be quick. And we have enough flint, it looks like. Perfect. 
And I think that's it. Okay. So we did the majority of everything today. Um, but maybe it's not bad to have this because there'll be little micro objectives to have as we're finding Koroks and whatnot. Which, uh, according to this, we are at well, inventory Koroks a lot. How many? 451. The count should be the same as what's in the description because I always update it. But, um, yeah, 872 Koroks out of 1,000. 95.14%. Um, did a lot of the armor. Today was the biggest push. So we'll just kind of get those last things over the next few streams, probably. Um, on top of the last 150-ish Koroks. It won't be a bad push at all. Um, so 130-ish Koroks. Wow. But that'll be it for the 100%. So we'll just try to make it work worthwhile. Uh, really use up everything we have. We can sell all of our materials and armors at the end just to see our total cost. That'll be just like a funsies thing. Um, see how much extra 100% we can do. But after that, we'll do our next playthrough, which I'll announce once we finish. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited for everything. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, won't be here next week, but we will be uploading a big challenge video next week. Um, or sometime early into the week, rather. So it'll at least be something. Um, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, great weekend, and uh, see you all next time. Goodbye. Oink.